Welcome to Anime Recap. In this video, I'll be giving you a brief overview of Elfin Lead and then introducing you to some of the key elements and features of the series. Whether you're a seasoned viewer just like me or just getting into anime, I hope this video will give you a good idea of what Elfin Lead is all about. And if you like what you saw, be sure to drop a like and turn on the notification so you won't ever miss another video. Elfa Lead is a psychological horror manga series written and illustrated by Lin Okamoto. It was serialized in Shueisha's Weekly Young Jump from June 2002 to August 2005, and its chapters collected into 14 Tankobon volumes. The series is licensed for English language release in North America, the United Kingdom, Australia, and other regions by Viz Media, Madman Entertainment, and Chongyi. The story centers on Lucy. A young woman who is a Diclonus, a mutant human with horns and an invisible telekinetic arm called Vectors. Lucy is caught by government agents and subjected to cruel scientific experimentation, leading to her escape and her violent pursuit of vengeance against humanity. The series begins with Lucy, a Diclonus, escaping from a research facility where she has been held captive and subjugated to cruel scientific experimentation. As she escapes, she kills many of the guards and scientists, and is eventually confronted by Kota, a young man who is visiting the beach with his cousin Yuka. Despite her initial violent behavior, Kota takes pity on Lucy and gives her shelter, and then she begins to live with him and Yuka in their home. As Lucy tries to adapt to her new life, she is plagued by hallucinations of her past and by the presence of her vectors, which are constantly urging her to kill. She is also haunted by the government which wants to capture her and study her powers in order to create more Diclonae. Despite this, Lucy starts to form relationships with Kota and Yuka, as well as with their friends. Meanwhile, a number of other characters are introduced, including Nana, a Diclonus who was held captive at the research facility and is now being hunted by the government, Kurama, a scientist who was responsible for the experimentation on Lucy and Nana, and Bando, a mercenary who is hired by the government to capture Lucy. These characters all have their own agendas and motivations, and their actions have a major impact on the plot. As the story progresses, Lucy's past is revealed, and the true nature of her powers and her connection to Kota are revealed. It is revealed that Lucy is actually a girl who he met a long time ago. This revelation causes Kota to struggle with his feelings for Lucy, as he is torn between his love for her and his guilt for being unable to save his friend. The series also explores themes of identity, loss, and consequences of violence. The character of Lucy represents a struggle to balance one's primal desires with the constraints of society, and the series grapples with the idea of whether it is possible to truly change who we are. Ultimately, the series ends with a confrontation between Lucy and the other Diclonae, as they try to assert their dominance over humanity. In the end, Lucy is forced to make a decision that will determine the fate of both herself and the other Diclonae. Elfin Lead was well perceived by critics, with the praise of its art, characters, and themes, as well as its use for gore and violence. The series has been adapted to a number of other media, including an anime television series, several video games, and a stage play. I hope you enjoyed this anime recap of the series. If you have any thoughts or feedback, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. And if you want to see more content like this, be sure to join the Discord community of anime fans. Till next time, Johnny!